Elisa Niguel looks to air it out against Altaloma. And the Chibuco Hills Mustangs girls volleyball team looks for the sweep. Scores and highlights coming up on South County Sports Zone. Hello everyone, I'm Garth Wyckoff and welcome to South County Sports Zone, your home for high school highlights throughout South Orange County. Fall sports are in full swing and highlights this week in high school football, boys water polo and girls volleyball. We kick it off with high school football, a non-league matchup between Alta Loma and Elisa Niguel. Captains at midfield, Alta Loma Braves taking on Elisa Niguel at the den and here comes the Wolverines wearing the teal. First quarter, Najam looking to throw deep. He connects Jack Gill. 38 yards down to the four yard line, loses the helmet. He picks it up, he's okay. Then Najam, he hits Kissin in the end zone and Aliso has the seven to nothing early lead. We go to the second quarter. Braves, they get on the board. Sean Casey, 24 yard touchdown run off the left hand side. That ties it up at seven apiece. Casey's feeling good about it. Liso huddled up on a third and 11 play. Then Najam, he will throw deep. Hooks up with Jack Gill again. 44 yards. That'll move the chains down inside the five. Both catches into the red zone for him. First and goal, direct snap to Gill, and he gets the score, he takes it in. 14 to seven, Elisa Niguel has the advantage. Still in the second, Aliso driving again. Najam with another deep ball over the top, and it's Dylan Kissin. Number 11, he hauls it in, great catch. Mark him down at the nine. Check the split formation. Aiden Sanchez with the Wolverine special to CJ Pasuzzi. 21-7 Wolverines. And the Wolverine cheer squad with some little helpers at halftime. We go to the third. Najam play action pass blocked away. Good defensive effort by Elijah Ariola. Najam comes back with another pass attempt. This time he hits the near sideline. Another great catch for Gill, number 18, having a great game. And then on the next play, Aliso, they go deep again to the playbook, double pass. Sanchez finds Kissin wide open for the touchdown. That'll be the final score on this one as Aliso rolls to victory. Hayden Sanchez, first game back in about a year and a half. He plays running back, but had two touchdown passes. He was a stud all game both ways for us. Obviously, Jack, CJ, and Chad, but Hunter had a really big uh, bounce back game at quarterback for us. You know, play our, our play our game. We had too many mistakes against Fountain Valley. Um, execute and establish a run and stop their run. And they have a great running game, too, so stopping that running game was huge. Final score on this one, Elisa Niguel, 28, Alta Loma, 7. Boys, water polo. Tesoro and the White Caps taking on the Wolverines, wearing black at their home pool. First period, Workman feeds Zaluiga for the goal, and it's 8-4, Aliso in the early going. Workman with a nice back pass to Jace Jackson Geiger. He shoots, he scores, and it's 9-4, Aliso with a five-goal advantage. We go to the second, Aliso on the tack, Smith gathers, he passes, and he'll hit Geiger with the one-timer. And it's 11-4. Wolverines extend the lead. Then Tesoro, shot on goal, but a good save there by Drew Pfeiffer at the post. And then good ball movement here for Aliso. Workman to Phillips to Max Amaya. He bangs it in, it's 14-4. 10 goal advantage. Halftime, Coach Puffer talking to the boys with that 10 goal lead. And we go to the third, to Soro attacking. Vi feeds Ethan Brown for the goal. It's 15 to six, Aliso by nine. Titans again, this time it's Vi to Nate Bush. He bounces it in, it's 15 to seven. 
Aliso by eight. Wolverines would answer. Excellent passing. Thomas Drews with the assist to Zaluga. And he slaps it in. Wolverines lead 16-7. Then on the counter, it's Stagner to Zaluga for the one-timer. 18-7. Aliso. Final period. Good battle here in the corner. Aiden Phillips feeds Cash Reynolds. He cashes in. It's 20 to seven. Elisa Niguel, then Colin Casey. Nice lob pass to Amaya. Good pass, good shot. 21-7, Aliso. Tesoro still playing hard. Shot on goal, gets blocked. Ryan Todd gets the follow-up, scores. Nice shot. However, no comeback. And this one for Tesoro. Wolverines swim away with victory. Final score, Lisa Niguel, 21, Tesoro, 9. All right, time to step aside for a quick timeout. But before we go, it's trivia time. And the subject is high school football. Now, Mission Viejo has dominated the South Coast League, well, forever. In fact, since the year 2000, they have won 17 South Coast League titles. But that's not the total. How many total league titles does Mission Viejo have in high school football? Is it 23? Is it 25? Or is it 27 total league titles? The answer and more highlights coming up when South County Sports Zone continues after the break. South County Sports Zone is presented by Financial Partners Credit Union. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is right in your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. And welcome back to South County Sports Zone. I'm Garth Wyckoff. Before we took a break, I had a trivia question for you. How many total league titles has the Mission Viejo High School football team won? Was it 23, 25, or 27? And the answer is 25 league titles. If you guess 25, you get a gold star. They've also won seven CIF titles, including a state championship in 2015. Pretty good high school football program. All right, we move on with the highlights. Let's go to girls volleyball action. Capo Valley taking on Tribuco Hills. Tribuco Hills High School. Girls volleyball, the Lady Mustangs. Hosting Capo Valley Seaview League match. Tribuco wearing pink in support of breast cancer awareness and a teammate's mom. First set, Mustangs set up Newbert, but blocked at the net. Mackenzie Levine and Ella Roque combined for the point, it's one nothing. Capo. Hoffman receives for Tribuco. Holloway sets Barrow. She tips it over the block, but Tanoka sets Grise for the kill. Capo gets the point. It's 10-8. Tribuco, however, this is Hoffman. Holloway, and this time Barrow bangs it home for Tribuco. Mustangs lead, 21-17. Set point for the Mustangs. There's a play at the net. Haynes resets, De Jesus sets it over, that ball drops in, and the Mustangs win the first set, 25-21, all smiles on the Tribuco bench. We go to the second, and it's Grise with the spike, recovered by Tribuco, and then Grise gets the block on Lauren Hoffman, and it's 2-1, Capo Valley in the second. Ball over to Tribuco, Healy, to Holloway. Aaron Munoz, left hand kill shot. 11 9, Tribuco Hills. And it's ball over. It's Newport with the bump. And it's Munoz to Haynes for the quick hitter. 20 to 15, Tribuco. Up by five. Set point. And Lindsey Hoffman serves for Tribuco. This shot sails wide out of bounds. And the Mustangs win the second set. 25-15, they win by 10, they're up by two, two to nothing in the match. We go to the third, Cougars bump it over. It's Newbert to Munoz to Caitlin Haynes. Down the line, 
Good looking shot, 7-1, Tribuco Hills. Capo receives. It's a nice shot here by Kira Tanoika. Gets it to drop, it's 11-8, three point advantage, Tribuco Hills. Newbert keeps it alive for Jabuco. De Jesus bumps it over. Capo sets it up. There's a block at the net. Munoz, huge point. 24-23. That was a big one in the match. And so it's set and match point. De Jesus serves, and Capo can't get it over. And the Mustangs, they get the win. Wearing the pink in this one. Uh, the strengths to our game tonight were serving, passing, defense, and uh, we're pretty small, but we can be scrappy. And we actually do some really good things at the net blocking, touching a lot of balls. Uh, the girls really love each other. They play really hard for each other. And I think when you're talking uh, team sports, uh, I get a team that really likes to play hard and together, good things happen. So we've been really fortunate. It's been a real fun season so far. So thank you. I would say some really important keys of this game was having a lot of energy on the court and getting really excited after each play. We did great job passing and we had some excellent swings. Shout out to Caitlin whose mom um, fought, fought cancer and we played for her tonight. Yeah, we love you. Great game. That's all I have. <laughs> and so the Mustangs get the sweep in this one. Final score, Tribuco Hills 3, Capo Valley 0. Mission Viejo High School Pool. Chibico Hills in the white caps, taking on the Diablos in the black with the white numbers. First period, Mustangs on the counter. And it's Ben Youngblood from outside. Good looking shot, and it's two to one, but Mission Viejo has the lead. Mission on the other end, Sherbarth to Gomez. And back to Sherbarth, and Sherbarth gets the goal. It's 3-2, Mission. We go to the second, Tribuco possession. Ethan Carter to Ben Youngblood. Another long range shot, he scores, ties it up at six apiece. Mission, the other way. A great battle and a tough shot here. Look at the touch right there. Sherbarth lobs it over the goalie and the Diablos lead at 8-7. Halftime, tight game for Mission Viejo. We go to the third. Sherbarth, nice feed to Blake Skidmore. He gets it in there, it's 9-8, Mission Viejo. Mustangs on the tack, shot on goal, it's blocked. Followed up by Zach Vavona and we're tied at 10 apiece. And then Sherbarth to Morris. We'll go back to Sherbarth, he scores. Good looking goal, mission leads 12-11. Seesaw battle in Tribuco Hills. They will take the lead right there, the go ahead goal in the fourth, it's 13 to 12. Mission, long pass by Skidmore. Sh Sherbarth gets it and scores, the game is tied 15-15. We go late fourth, Mustangs with possession. Vivana, shot off the post. But number five, Ethan Carter follows it up and that would be the game winner in a good one. Final score, Chibico Hill 16, Mish Viejo 15. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode of South County Sports Zone, but don't worry, you can watch it again and also check out previous episodes, plus other city content on our YouTube channel. Go to cityofmissionviejo.org forward slash MVTV. You can also check out avcity.org as well. Until next time, I'm Garth Wyckoff. We'll see you right here on South County Sports Zone.